Hello everybody, welcome to our English class. Uh, today we have grade 9, unit 8, what if? And here we have periods number four, 5, 6, and 7, page 8, 9, and 10. At the beginning we have two pictures, okay? So look at the picture carefully everybody, look. The first, the first picture we have a woman point to the stain on the shirt of the boys and here we have the man, the other picture, burning a pan. Okay, now here we need to talk about the pictures on the two pages. Number one, do they show things that are really happened or things that we are imagining I think they are imagining because look here uh, we have like this point and here this is just imagining picture yes we are imagining number two in the first situation what is the girl pointing at yes did you guess yes she is pointing at the stain and she feels that it's uh, very dirty uh, okay number three how does the boy seem to feel about it okay look at the picture he seems maybe doesn't care for example yeah he doesn't care yes and number four in the second situation second picture what is happening on the cooker yeah burning go on the pan Okay, a pan on hot oil start burning. Now, how does the boy seem to feel about it? He feels curious, he feels, uh, no, he feels worry, right? Worry, maybe something will, bad will happen. Yeah, he feels worried. Okay, now let's come to the second part in our lesson. On page five, 8, we have... Uh, the text, listen to the text, everybody. Unit 8, Period 5, Activity 4. Quiz. Could you look after your home and family? Imagine that your parents have gone out and you are looking after your young brothers and sisters this evening. What would you do if these things happened? Situation 1. Imagine that your little brother has accidentally poured some tomato juice down his shirt and stained it. What would you do? If that happened, I would A. First try to get rid of the stain with cold water and soap. Then, if that did not work, I could use a gentle chemical cleaner. B. Look for the most powerful chemical cleaner in the house and attack the stain with that. Situation 2. Imagine that you are cooking dinner for everyone, but then a pan of hot oil starts burning. What would you do? If that happened, I would... A. Turn off the cooker and pour cold water on the oil. B. Turn off the cooker and cover the pan. Okay, when you listen to this situation number one, what do you think is the suitable answer? First, try to get off, uh, get rid of the stain with old water and soap. Or then, if that doesn't work, um, I could use a gentle chemical cleaner. Or at the beginning, look at the most powerful chemical cleaner in the house and attack the stain with that. Yeah, I think the first one, the first choice is the suitable one. So I will choose it. Now in the second situation, imagine that you are cooking dinner for everyone. But then, uh, then a pan of hot oil start burning. What would you do? If that happened, I would first turn off the cooker and 
pour cold water on the oil this is the first one or turn off the cooker and cover the pan and I think the second choice is the suitable one so let us see if these my choices good choice or not unit 8 now comments if I choose situation number one or situation number two if you did this is situation number two the oil and water together would immediately start a huge start a huge and dangerous fire so if you did B that would stop air from reaching the oil and this would quickly stop burning uh, so this is so my choice is the suitable one now let's come to the situation number one of course and if you choose B this would probably get rid of it but you would also probably damage the material you might not get rid of, get rid of that stain completely the first time but if you choose the second uh, the first choice however you would not damage the material and so you could try again if necessary that's good everybody now let's come to uh, page the same page page 8 and we have true and false about uh, our lesson the quiz is about things that are really happening now do you think that happening everything is happening now uh, i don't think so right so it falls number two it shows how well or badly you could find answers to problems la at home that's yes for, of course number three in situation one your brother has had an accident with some tomato sauce uh, yes of course and on number four in this situation B would take more time than A B take more than than no no it take quickly uh, quickly but it damage everything now number five situation two could make very dangerous for everyone and this is through now everybody let's come to period number six on this period we have exercise number one in exercise number one read the quiz and add notes to complete the table the in situation we have one and two and we have the actions Number one, your brother has what? And he get how your brother has what? This is situation, which situation? Number one, your brother has what? And number two, a pan. Okay, so number one, your brother has, yes, a stain. In where? In his shirt. Stained his shirt with tomato sauce. And how to get rid of that with yes wash it with cold water and so or chemical cleaner yes so cold water and soup or gentle chemical cleaner now the second part a pan of what pan of hot oil burning on the cooker hot oil starts burning good and how do you turn it off of course you have to turn off the cooker and cover the pan turn off the cooker and cover the pan okay page 9 the same page period number 6 page 9 read the quiz again and do these tasks 
Now, number one. Say what the underlying words refer to. On line five, then if that did not work, what is that? Refer to what? Putting cold water and soup on the stain. If that doesn't work, you can do something else. On line eight, cooking dinner for everyone. Who is everyone? For example, all the family. Yes. Number three, line 17. And this would quickly stop burning. And this would quickly stop burning. So this, what is this? The pan. Okay, covering the pan. Stop burning, of course. Now on line 18, this would probably get rid of it. Get rid of the what? The stain, of course. Now, say what the underlying words or phrases um mean on line seven and attack the stain with that attack the stain it means clean the stain okay try to get rid of the stain or clean the stain on line 22 and so you could try again try what cleaning the stain with chemical for example use gentle chemical cleaner again on line 22 also you could try again if necessary if it is important or if it is doesn't go out yes if the stain is still here or still there okay now let's come to page 10 period number 7 at the first exercise match the opposites 1 to 4 and A to D here, number one, enemy. What is the opposite from this part? Enemy, we have turn off, friend, right, and dangerous. Yes, friend, of course. So it is C. Number two, we have safe. Of course, dangerous. Turn on, turn off, and wrong, we have B, right. Now, we need to use these opposites and put them in the spaces here in exercise two. Now add pairs of opposites from activity one, make any changes needed. Number one, it was dark when I arrived. I stopped the car. What? Turn off the engine, went to the house, opened the door and turned on the lights in state. Inside, sorry. Number two, why are you always angry with Dima? She isn't your. Uh huh. Because she is angry with Dima, is so she isn't your enemy. You know, and she wants to be your, of course, friend. Now, Maryam got ninety-five percent in the test. She got almost everything. Yes everything right and just one thing what wrong number four it's too for the children to go out on the road so it's too dangerous they must stay in the garden it's yes safe there now in the next exercise we have match forms of log with the definitions and look here we have look, look, look after, look at, look for, look like, look up. What the definition of these logs here? So we need to put logs. The first one, log, used to say how someone or something seems to you. Okay, what about number two? Try to find someone or something. Try to find find someone or something it is look look for yeah number three turn your eyes towards someone or something to see it clearly hey look look at very good and number four use when you want someone to look carefully at something 
when you look carefully at something yes look of course when you can say for example look look number five make sure that nothing bad happened to someone or something of course it is look after because you take care of them and number six try to find information usually in a book or list on the internet it is look up and the last one look almost the same as someone or something it is look like now next exercise exercise number four the last one we need to put all the locks in this exercise at, at a big party Ahmed you smart in that shirt Khalid so you what you look smart in that shirt thanks Ahmed why are you that person over there oh, that person it means looking at why are you looking at that person over there because he an old friend he look what he looks like an old friend his name was Tim Hall ah. number four I'll the name of the guest list I look up the name on the guest list yes look Tim Hall fantastic I must go and say hello to him at home Huda have you seen have you seen my phone I've been oh it all day I've been looking for it all day no sorry Majid says no sorry you should look after your things more carefully I can't see it mm. it's over there by the TV so it is look it's over there by the TV oh yes that is thanks very much here we reach the end of our lesson everybody have a nice day and goodbye